At the dawn of the new millennium, the human genome, the DNA code that makes us who we are, was mapped. What if we are not made of biological cells, but of zeros and ones? What if we are just characters in someone's game? Think of our world as a simulation, meaning that it doesn't really exist. It's nothing material, but instead, it's just a very powerful computer program. In this video, we will be uncovering the truth behind our universe and revealing the truth behind a question many are afraid to think of. Are we living in a simulation? So what does it mean when we say the universe might be a simulation? It means that we are living in a very strong computer program controlled by someone outside our imagination. To put it short, we are not real. So then what are we? If we are not tangible, if we are not made out of blood and flesh, do we exist? Well, we would just be characters in someone's game. Imagine you're playing Call of Duty, the character you control with your remote, that's you, just in someone else's game. This even means that the world around you isn't real either. But could it be that maybe you exist, but the world around you is a simulation? Scientists are saying this can happen. You are just tricking your brain into thinking everything around you, everything you see and feel, is something real. That's sort of like you are gaslighting yourself into something that's not even true. And if you're a fan of the movie series The Matrix, then you know what to expect. Maybe someone is harvesting us for energy too. Before we go further into the video and discover the mastermind behind the simulation, make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Now think of a virtual reality world where you are walking down a dark path and suddenly something pops up and gives you a jump scare. For a second there, you forget the real world, the world outside the virtual reality, just before you break out of it. But imagine if you lose sense of what is real and what is not. It's not schizophrenia, it's not delusion, it's you living in a simulated world. At this point, we know what you might be thinking, that this is all just some fabricated story. But what if it's not and we tell you that it is possible? What if there is a technology like virtual reality that creates a permanent deceptive experience? All it needs is a powerful computer software, and given the technological progress of the last 50 years, by another century this idea won't seem so fantastical. You might want to think twice before you say the word real again because as it appears, nothing is. Questions like these are not new. They have been asked by the ancient philosophers since the pre-modern era. The exact word, simulation, doesn't appear in any religious or old philosophical texts, but the concept is very similar. Someone designed our universe. But then who is the tech genius behind such an advanced creation? Let's get straight into the answer to this big question. There is one explanation given by an Oxford philosopher, Nick Bostrom. He says that we are just creations of the post-human species, meaning that we may not be the original human species, but just a simulated creation of our future generation with the Megaminds. Turns out we have been mistaken. Our kind is not the most intelligent after all. There are no limits to technology. Every day is proof of that. Maybe our post-human state is so smart that they managed to create an entire universe out of a simulation. In this case, it would make you the memory of your great-great-grandkids. That is, if we do reach that state. What happens if we do not? Well, that's something we will be discovering in just a few minutes. But before that, could there be other ways this simulation came into being? Nearly every sci-fi movie shows a scene where one of the characters is put in ice-cold water and reaches a subconscious state. A warning here, do not try this at home. So then, what if that is exactly what's happening? That we are living in a state where our mind and body are separated from each other. Maybe we were born in reality, but someone more powerful than us managed to transport our body into a stimulated world, the unconscious. Or we are living in a perfectly designed stimulation from the moment we were born, with no way out. It's all just automatic. It is only when our life ends that we start to wake up and remember glimpses of our past life. But some philosophers suggest something different. David Chalmers of New York University described an all-powerful being responsible for creating and controlling the stimulation. It could even be just a kid or teenager playing around on their computer, controlling the lives of billions of people. And if the child is in a bad mood, you know who they are going to take it out on. Get ready to spill your fresh scoop of ice cream on the floor. But this makes you wonder, what if you discover something about the creator of the stimulation? What happens then? 
the big mystery remains. Experts say that living in a simulation is like being in a video game, like virtual reality with your VR goggles on, and your brain just cannot tell the difference between reality and fiction anymore. So then what happens when you take those goggles off? It would be possible to end the stimulation. But for our lives to be completely stimulated, the program would have to be absolutely spellbound, with no errors, just perfection. But like nearly every creation, if this is all just a computer code after all, there must be some glitches. Even the best games in the world begin to glitch after some time. How would you spot those? Maybe these software bugs can give you a hint about a way out. Some big mistakes in the software could be when you meet your doppelganger, someone who looks just like you but is in no way related to you. Maybe the creators got confused while creating characters and did not realize they created two of the same persons. Now the next time you see your lookalike, time to stop and start questioning your reality. And then maybe, while you are investigating all this, you discover the identity of our creators. They surely won't let you live now, a big delete all command for the entire universe. But here's a different thought, what if even all of this is programmed, and just a way for you to jump onto another matrix? Seems like an endless cycle now, doesn't it? There would be many questions popping into your head because it still seems impossible for this to work. The truth is, we never know how technology will grow. Artificial intelligence is still a big mystery because it continues to learn and evolve. And maybe our post-human states or future generations can achieve that advanced state that created us. But all this is assuming too much. These are educated guesses about our reality. A Harvard physicist, Lisa Randall, claims that there is no solid evidence to support that we are living in a simulation. We simply do not know at this point to know. You can relax now. Maybe we are real after all, so you can't blame everything on your future generations. But in case this is all a simulation, from ourselves to every single atom around us, then there is no way out. We are stuck inside this universe, and our reality is likely to be the only one we will ever know. Then why does it matter to ask these big questions? Why do we even bother considering if this is a simulation or not? The answer lies in the quest for truth. For every scientist, this is the prime objective. Discovering about ourselves and what we are could help us achieve greatness. It could make all the difference in the world if we knew what we are. In the end, we stand at the same big question. Are we living in a simulation? Is everything around us a program or does our reality exist? Maybe one day we will find the answers to these big questions. But till then, our journey to find out the truth continues.